Thanks to Resub Royce. This one? <laughs> Tiny Home Tours? Okay. Welcome to Marathon Coach. I'm Mal Williams with the sales department here in Coburg, Oregon. This is Marathon Coach number 1261. We're going to go inside and take a look. 1261 is an X3 mm -hmm. double slide. So let's go take a double look. Double slide. Double slide. All right. I'm Now I'm interested, Ryan Seacrest. Let's go. Wait just a minute. You don't see double slides like this out there anymore. Step on up in here. What you're going to see right away is that... Can it drift? Oh, I'm sure it can. We're already in the living quarters. Now, Marathon Coach 1261 is known as the Crocodile Coach because it is a crocodile-themed <laughs> coach. Oh. Not necessarily intentional. Oh. A lot of the decor. Jesus. And a lot of the accents are kind of in a crocodile Why? pattern. Here we are in the salon of 1261. You've got a sleeper sofa right here on this side. Let me show you what it does. So it articulates, for the lack of a better term, right down to a hey. really good size sofa. What you do is you put a little wedge pillow in the middle there so you're not feeling that uh, seam down the middle. It's got storage on the back side. Check this out. This is really nice. You got these little pockets on both sides and then it goes right back up and if you see you've got storage underneath also right back into a sofa and Very then on nice. this side you've got the recliner so the recliner is one of the most comfortable chairs you my grandparents used to have an rv i used to love that shit rvs are cool rvs up. are just Behind fucking cool it, you've got additional storage you also have a magazine rack but in a marathon coach, you want utilization of space, and that's something I'll be telling you about throughout this tour of Coach 1261. Utilization of space means every little area... I will say, though, for $2.8 million, dollars, I would expect a lot more from coach. this so far. And so here's a little that's a fucking lot of money. Area, perfect for an iPad, perfect for a laptop. Actually, it goes pretty deep, so you could fit... You know, a couple of, of uh, larger items in there, if need be. There's the recent fart As sniffer. A good shot here going back to the back of the coach. The floors are heated. Really nice and comfortable when you step out onto a heated tile floor. Uh, when it's cold outside or cold in the coach and the floor is heated, it's really a nice effect. 1261 has a great feature that all of our coaches have. Is the resub First too much all, spaghetti? Everything runs off of an iPad. The iPad oh, is a very good. It's, it's for smart. The restaurant system because let's say you lose this, it's only six hundred dollars to replace it. Also, oh, that's everybody all. Everybody knows at this point, or if you don't, you're getting there. Everybody knows the Apple iOS system. We all have our phones. You can also have this Marathon Crestron system set up on your iPhone. So from away from the coach, you can check on it and make changes let's take a look right now at one thing that our engineers very have good AJ over the years that Don't know uh, to tell you. set the entertainment level with the push of one button we go into theater mode theater oh my mode god drops all of the blinds automatically as you just see it dims most of the lights what the fuck and it drops down the big 50 inch Samsung what are we watching front. Orange and County Choppers? Rolling on HDMI 1 or whatever you select. That's a really cool feature. And then with the push of the reverse of the button, all the blinds from the galley to the front of the coach, all the way to the cockpit, they all go up. The lights that were dim come back up. Nice. And stowed right above our head is the 50 inch Samsung. Theater mode is a really cool way to end your day, to start your day, and when you head out in the morning to go get your morning coffee and donut. What happens if you put it on during driving? Stop and all of the blinds go up. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's when the fun begins. It's a really nice way of doing all of the blinds and the lighting at the same time. The iPads, a great integration on a marathon. Thanks to the Bits Leech. And the docking launch. The Dollar right Pero. Here not only holds it securely by magnet, but it charges it as it sits. All right, let's speed through this a bit. Where you want it to be. Also, it pivots all the way around. I'll just pivot it out like this. You can have it like a buffet. I really like that because it adds a lot of casualness to the galley area so that people can come and go. Let's say you're tailgating at a game or let's yeah, say you're entertaining oh yeah. a group of people. Thanks a prime slim. Set up like that for, uh, nice. Cool people. table. And uh, using these safest, you put in there a special area. They don't 
I mean, it's cool, but I don't know about two point eight million dollars. You've got you've got seals and clean out bring goes that I so a little side hold it up for the lack of a better very easily and quickly. Please the resub refrigerated and prime money bags. Hold the button, the bed starts to slide forward, thus the bed starts to uh not be recorded. Yeah, I wonder what dictates the price on an R V. But I'm gonna put the king size bed up getting it out of the way so that we can have more room to walk through the coach because we're not in the bed right now. There's a sink right here in the uh, bedroom, also with the uh, back There's the resub, Dan Darkheart. Uh, to match, so right now the ceiling is purple, so is the sink. This is a walk-in closet laundry. Also, your direct TVs, your, your Blu-ray players, and you've got bars on. God, that's so cool. More secure, purple, likely cabinet slash which I'm going to to reason for doing that is rated by a Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I don't know about fucking $2.8 million. Apparently, Will Smith's is nuts, though. This are for Lifty, take ignore the bait at top, watch up the roof extends, lights are switched on, then the makeup mirror. All this technology adds levels of comfort is it and tier luxury one matched by very few other models in the industry. But as we all know, luxury always comes with a cost. All up, the manufacturers installed between one hundred and one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars worth of whiz bang. How gadgets. much gas would that Perhaps cost? None more impressive than the collection of fourteen TV screens. At least more than five. Pretty impressive, eh? Let's take a closer look at some of the most noteworthy elements of each room. First off, this is where the magic happens, and by magic we mean cooking. The RV's kitchen is larger than those of most regular studio apartments, featuring stylish granite countertops, a full-sized double-door fridge, a microwave, a stainless steel this looks nuts. and a large sink. All Holy up, shit. The, fittings, the kitchen alone is worth between $100,000 and $200,000. It evokes feelings of grandeur, one which continues as we move into the bathroom. The focal point of the full-width lavatory is without a doubt the steam shower, which typically costs upwards of $2,000 for standard versions. The designers faced a unique predicament when envisioning the bathroom. On the one hand, privacy is essential, obviously. But by building a closed-off bathroom, the floor space would appear smaller and much more cramped. So what did they do? Solved they made the RV bigger. This glass door transitions from opaque to clear with just a flick of a switch. Clearly, the designers had a thing for unique doors, because to enter the downstairs lounge area, the Star Trek sliders await. Listen closely. These mirror-coated divider doors make a distinct space-age swoosh sound when they open and close. Over here, you'll find an illuminated oh, makeup mirror, the what one with the a sneakily fuck? hidden TV, a wardrobe area, and more than enough space to kick Holy back and shit. chill out. The upstairs lounge, on the other hand, which is used primarily for business, features automated blackout shades, giving this A-lister and his family plenty of privacy from the relentless pop. Now this, this is but worth $2.8 million. Dollars. Feature, course, is the screening room. This space, remarkably, is capable of housing some guns. 30 people at once. Who's bringing the popcorn? So it's pretty obvious the heat is jam-packed with tech, but it's stocked with plenty of lug flow liners installed 30 grand of the yeah, thousand transformer. About that. It goes without saying that this actor's trailer would come with a scary price tag, like scarier than the Dark Seers in I Am Legend. What's the damage exactly? Two point five million dollars. It's cheaper than the last That's one. That's right. This glorified bus is worth more than a four-bedroom Seattle mansion, or a and it is so much Manhattan better than the last one. He's used the trailer while working on films such as Men in Black 3, Ali, and The Pursuit of 